Virgo, welcome to your three-month review that is October, November, December, and once more I'll point out our last round for in-depth reads before we move over to a check-in system permanently September 15th. For those of you who need clarification, perhaps you missed the announcement, I will once more link it off in the comments, yeah? Uh, but there you go. This is our last chance for in-depth, and people voted mm, almost solidly. I want to say it's a landslide, but it was pretty close to the three month, and I get it. Let's get the most bang for our buck kind of thing. But uh, Intimate Tarot surprised me. It came in as a strong second. That was interesting. That was pretty cool, too. But anyway, we're going to do the three month review. So let's talk about it. This is the board I'm using for you and all 12 signs. We're going to take a look at you in October 10, the Wheel of Fortune. Yes. November 11, Justice. December 12, the Hanged Man. Or in this deck, perspective. The bottom row of the energies I like to look at at the three month, the sun, are we on point with it? Are we feeling our sun? Are we in our happiness? Are we making it happen? Is it growing? Is it steady? Is it in place? Do we need to make adjustments? This kind of thing. The tower, anything unexpected untowards we should know about. And then also in Capricorn's case, they had a known tower and how it was still affecting them, which was interesting. Okay. But it's always good to check those energies. All right, let's get started. Let's take a look at Virgo in October. But before we get there, once more happy birthday to you. And like always, take what resonates, leave what does not. If there's more than one energy clearly apparent to you on this board today, then you reverse those energies as you see fit. These are, after all, general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate at all. Frustrating, I know, but also normal. Check out the placements, you will find yourself in there somewhere. What's up? Oh, I'm not going to miss that little intro, I'll tell you that. I'll have another version of it, of course. <laughs> With the check-ins, you know, but it'll only have to do it once <laughs> at the opening. What's going on? Show me. Show me Virgo in October. Show me Virgo in October, please. Yeah. What's up? What's going on? Ooh, I think I'm going to do chicken teriyaki tonight. Mmm. Yes. I've got my own little system now. You know. Temperance. Okay. Knight of Swords. Strength. Oh, yes. Equal parts soft and strong. Navigating those two. Interesting. I like it. Taking action, too. It's active. You're showing me strength. To take action in a particular direction, but it comes from a good place in you with temperance. So like I said, equal parts soft and strong. It's considerate, it's patient, but also has the action to carry forth, okay, in a way that's meaningful. And represents some good energy on your part, as well as action and intent. What is it? Let's push that a little further. I love that. That could be your overall sense of guidance by October. What's going on? Or it could be a kind of specific consolidated form of action. That's your energy behind it, which is still lovely. What you doing? Let's take a look. Oh, for some of you, it has to do with love. Well, that's not a bad thing. What's up? Three of Wands, the Knights of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I see you connecting with somebody. It took a while. Don't get me wrong. Temperance Three of Wands, you know. This is not overnight. This is not like Insta Oats. It's Insta... <laughs> like, no, this is it. but there's, there's a connection point here between two people. I got three knights. I don't say that there's three people. I'm saying the energy is trying to match up and sync. Uh, but it comes from a distance. It comes from a distance. It took time to get to this space. I like how you're greeting it. It's from a good place in you. Like I said, it's both soft and strong. But uh, behind all that, it's it's love and a steadiness. Steady hand right there. Knights of Pentacles, steady hand, steady energy. Okay. Um, we're not letting what we're doing run away with us. But I like the presentation of it. It's careful but not too careful. It's considerate without being overly considerate. It's it's forward without being overly forward. So, I don't know. It's just apparently in October. It's time to take some action, honey. 
I feel like the Knights of Wands, he got left out of the party. So <laughs> that's what I'm saying. There's no rush in this. There's no rush. Um, you have some beautiful elements in you. I like it. Whatever it is, may it be worthy of you, your intentions, and may it respond in kind. I like it. I do. I'll point out, uh, I might see a continuation of this, or it might break into a different segment altogether. If I don't see where this goes further, I might be nosy and do some more on that, but let's go ahead and move into November for now. Show me Virgo in November. The world, Ace of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Cool. Cool. We've made up our mind on a subject. All right. We have made up our mind on a subject. Mind you, the world is technically in the opening position, but it could be still qualifies as the world. It could be that you are actively choosing to drop something where you no longer feel the need to juggle it, incorporate it in your life. You don't question it anymore, be it your time, energy, and effort, or it's just a thought. Okay. We can drop it. Or you have finally picked a direction and you're opening towards it regardless. Uh, it's nice to see that there's a sense of clarity here and we can act on it accordingly. You know, whether you're choosing to give something your time, energy and effort or even your thoughts, you're closing it off or you're opening it up. Let's keep pushing that. Show me November, please. I'm just saying it's a good day when we can drop the wiffle waffle, yeah? And we know absolutely what the heck's going on. So whatever it is. I just like that you've made up your mind about it. <laughs> or have you picked a course of direction? Or are you closing something off? Either way, you're done with the fussiness of making the choice. The choice is here. Okay. What else, please? Mm -hmm. The Hierophant, Five of Wands, and the Tower. There's some sort of commitment here. Um, I don't mean to stress anyone out. I don't mean to stress anyone out. For the Virgo I'm looking at, this is either your truth or it's not. It's incredibly distinct. And I don't want to limit it to just November. Obviously, there's a lot of background that led up to this. Okay. So I'm not saying that this is an instantaneous or spontaneous decision that happened overnight. Um, but you just had the tower show up over some very prominent concepts. Five of Wands in the Tower, there is something here where the higher self no longer wishes to engage with something that causes conflict or is a commitment. The idea is, is the only way to make this stop being difficult, a conflict of wills, an agenda, or a fight, is to not commit to it anymore. So this is, I can't stand by this and participate in any more kind of energy. So whatever that commitment is to you, I just know that we've made up our mind on it. You can open up to a particular truth or close one off because you know it's not your truth anymore. It still stands to reason. Having made up your mind on a subject, it's running both ways here. That's a heck of a tower. Um, and because, you know, I'm proud of you in this respect is that you're taking ownership of this. That doesn't mean it's easy. Truths like this are never easy when we take ownership of them. All the more reason I applaud you for having made up your mind. But when the Hierophant says, whatever this is I stand up for and fight for is nonsensical, it's kind of a big deal. And I don't know what that commitment represents. Some sort of contract you had with yourself to continue to stay in something and you can't do it anymore or abide by it. A contract you have with someone else in the workplace, I don't know. But you will. There was a lot that was leading up to it. That's not random. And it seems to be completely detached from your experience in October. This is different. Like I said, there's participation here. And it's not rust. It took time to understand we wanted to participate or show up for this. I see someone joining you in that space, but I don't know who. They don't have a strong outline yet. But this 
seems to touch on a different subject matter, or I should say nerve, very differently. Okay. You may not know necessarily what it is either, but I'm telling you there's a lot of background noise to it. It's really hard for me to think that from this point of view, from this time and space, that you don't know what this is. Something you can no longer see yourself contracting to. And we've made up our mind on this at long last. It's kind of like that, like I said, you just don't feel good. But it's freeing, at least up here. Okay. Let's jump on over to December. Show me December. This is calm and peaceful. And it's like we waited a long time. All right, show me December, please. Show me December, show me December. Show me December, show me December. Show me December. The moon, the six of pentacles and the ten of cups. Interesting. Something's coming out of the moon, which is a good thing. Six of pentacles, the ten of cups. That's a lot of activity there. Imbalances, ten of cups, immediate emotional stakeholders. Are you revealing news to many people in your life? Things that you kept to yourself. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, that's a lot of activity. It literally suggests these are people I balance with in my life that are important to me. But it's coming from the moon. Are you letting everyone in on it? One more. Let's see that, please. Queen of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the f Yeah. Oh, that's the heaviness that you've been carrying in your heart. Oh, honey. Okay. All right. Okay, you're just now opening up about it later. I got you. I got it. That makes perfect sense. You humor me, I know you're collective. I get it. You tend to be very private. And it's not like Scorpio's privacy. It's completely different. We take it to a kind of, I don't trust you. Therefore, I don't talk to you. Kind of <laughs> space. Virgo, it's it's different. Your quiet space is, is because you have a tendency to withhold or withdraw because if you speak unto it, that would make it real. So as a Virgo-like tendency you tend to keep things close to your chest. Again, it's not for weird sort of sense of privacy reason or it's none of your business. It's simply, if I acknowledge it, then it's real and you are earthbound. So when it gets time for Virgo to really acknowledge the earthbound realities, that means it's real and we step into it and we have to accept it. So am I surprised to see your kind of traditional process here, no matter what your Virgo placement is? No, not at all. I mean... You've been keeping this to yourself for a long time, you know? You've made up your mind, and then it's time to carry that out into reality. So you're showing me a lot of sense of Six of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Again, that includes so many people for you. So I can tell that you have emotional stakeholders here, Ten of Cups, that you balance with regularly, Six of Pentacles, but it's coming from the moon, the things that you've been keeping to yourself. And here's why. Because it hurts your heart. <laughs> Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles. This is heavy grievance in your heart that you're sharing with others. No doubt about this. I think you're just now getting to that point of allowing it to be real. Not too much further out. And that actually makes perfect sense. That flow through right here in November, December makes perfect sense. This is the only odd duck, but it's a beautiful odd duck. It's <laughs> I like it. I'm not quite sure why, but it has a... 
I don't know, there's such a patience surrounding it. And doesn't press its cause, but someone meets you there, and I like it. But this is this is different. This is something that's um you're just now getting to that space a little further out where you're you're telling people what's up and how this has literally been weighing on your heart, particularly that sense of making it real with the five of pentacles, this abandonment or breakage is happening. And ten of wands, you've been carrying it in your heart for a long time. Okay. So there's the making it real process to others in your life. All right. I get it. It makes sense. And what that is, I mean, you'll find the words. You'll find the words. Speak from the heart, and the people who love and support you will indeed love and support you. That's how that works. Okay. Let's see that sun, please. Show me your sun. Show me that sun, please, for Virgo. Show me that sun, please. Show me that sun, please. Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, the Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's a bit mixed. Mm, I can kind of see that. There are parts of you that are closing off, or you won't allow others to have access to. What you're showing me is a remaining balance of self with the Nine of Cups here. You're saying there's some parts of your heart that have completely closed off or don't bother trying to pursue that avenue, and the remaining balance is you and how you love yourself. And you're saying, I have to put myself forward to be happy. I agree. Love yourself. Understand what wish fulfillment is based on how you love yourself. But you're saying there's some parts of you that are closed off and it's not open for discussion. I believe you. You're going to have a little bit of mixed feeling here. If you ask me, it's a kind of rediscovery of what makes you happy. Because now you're consulting me, myself, and I. With the Nine of Cups. Let's go ahead and push that some more. Some of the sun, please. What else, please, is under that sun? It's kind of like saying I, I really shouldn't consult others or be open to feelings that aren't mine. I need to consult with myself first in order to understand what happiness is. Once more, I agree. You are undergoing changes by choice. Okay, you don't seem to be subject to them. It seems to be of choice. Um... It's to be expected then that you're going to have mixed reactions. If this is what's closed off and I'm not open towards it, don't even press it. To, I, I need to feel more about myself these days, right? What's up? Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, Two of Wands, you're, oh, you're reflecting back on the opening here. You really are trying to focus on what makes you happy. And according to you, that's part of how you open just whatever this kind of softer connectivity point is by October you're saying you're looking forward to that and you have been looking forward to that for some time <laughs> in your own particular way whatever that means to you it's something that you reflect upon and you look towards it for a sense of growth uh, particularly as it hits your own level of personal happiness you're saying you don't want to rush this part in October it's still with you it makes you happy as you understand it and there's just other feelings here you're not going to open up towards it's shut down. Don't even pursue it. You're saying right now you're just looking forward to what's happening over here in October. So, there's personal joy in here. And a very sense of slow, steady growth. But it's active. It's not passive. Seven of Pentacles is active. You're saying something's growing here, and it makes me feel good. And I'm not going to screw that up. I'm not going to allow mixed emotions or difficult emotions to interfere with this process. This is what makes me happy as I understand it. So I'm going to stand here and I'm going to communicate with it and I'm going to talk with it at my own pace and it's going to feel good. Leave me alone. <laughs> so that's it. That's, that's all I really have for you. So your sense of sun here is developing and it's very slow. 
you know, but given what you've been through, I don't quite know what it is that you're taking a kind of soft time with, a non-rush time with, but you like it. You like how it's building. And for you, you're saying you're not worried about pace. I believe you. Um, you're saying it's, I just, I like this piece right here. So that's a developing sun. He said, you waited a long time for this connecting point. Still haven't quite shown me what that is, and that's okay. That's okay. All right. You already showed me a pretty darn strong tower, so I'm apprehensive to look at it further. But we have a job to do, yes? Let's see that tower, please. Show me that tower, please. Well, this weather just can't make up its mind. We've had projected rain for days. It don't rain. The humidity remains high. Sun comes out. Clouds come back. Da, 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 da. And it's been like this for weeks. Why well, weeks? But it, it, long enough that it's annoying. <laughs> we need the rain, but the weather's also like, no, you don't. But we're going to go ahead and allude to the idea that we might rain. Does that work? No. No. <laughs> Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. Okay. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, the Eight of Cups. It's over the tower. There's your Knight of Pentacles again. It doesn't show up for something anymore. As discussed. I mean, I could give you the details, but I think we already got it back here. Uh, it does involve another person. The tower absorbed or vacuumed out this Ace of Cups, whatever the love is here for this, between yourself and someone else. I have a King of Pentacles and a Queen of Swords, regardless of the sign. I see you. Of course I see you. And I see someone who's a little bit more perfunctory, to the point. You know, uh, perhaps not very soft around the edges, but that's okay. Um, the point is, is that the love exploded here as part of this tower. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles, which you opened up with here, has a different flow point in October than it does over this tower. So the Page of Wands, Eight of Cups, is kind of like saying over a very slow period of time, I'm no longer interested in opening up towards this emotionally. Why would I? The Ace of Cups is no longer here. I can't be emotionally present for this anymore. It's acknowledged. It's been acknowledged. And this is one of the things that you're drawing back to in terms of finalizing this and understanding it. And again, that took a while. Okay. But here's the truth. That particular tower, if we held it under a minor, uh, excuse me, minor scope, microscope of what that looked like over here and what it is we can no longer see ourselves being committed to standing behind or standing next to. It's like the Herophon's energy here says it's being wasted. Um, you know, we look at it, that tower amplified. There's very much a sense of loss of love here. And there's the very slow acknowledgement of it and pulling away from it. Okay, this is all part of that truth and understanding it and willing it out. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I, I really didn't want to push that tower further. I thought it spoke for itself, but for those folks who need a little bit more, I suppose, detail, there it is. Okay. Let's, um... Um, you didn't point blank show me what this opening is in October that you're taking your time with. You're looking forward to it. You don't want to be rushed. Some things you want to be left alone on so you can discover this for yourself. Right? Goes back to this. So it's an unfolding sun for you and it's gentle. And it's not rushed.
spring. Generous offer, Pluto, transformation. Last spring might have been very important. This upcoming spring might be very important. Generous offer, transformation. Some of you went through some very intense transformative energies last spring, and it was the kind that was stretched out over time. A generous offer somehow affects you to this day. It transformed you. Some sort of generous offer transformed you. Scorpio energy, generous offer. Transformed, it was transforming. Last spring, was it last spring? That's some stretched out stuff right there. How many springs ago were we talking about? Epiphany. Dazed and confused, clarity at last. That's all that is, clarity at last. Codependency, closed off, guarded, and then there's that, that water again, the Ace of Cups here. Also, and like I said, it's in a poor position with the tower amp when we clarify it. Codependency, closed off and guarded. Uh, someone feels dependent in this relationship for all the wrong reasons. Closed off, guarded, and what counts is the, the Ace of Cups here. And in checking in with ourselves, we cannot conceivably reason being attached to this anymore. Um, whatever this is proved to be closed off and then possibly attached to you or a situation for all the wrong reasons. And that's why I don't think we can stand by it anymore, you know? It causes a lot of spiritual tension and or harm to the self to stand by it or stand next to it. Especially if real love isn't here anymore or hasn't been involved for a while. Now, that's all well and good. I pushed this part... And this is what I got. Spring, generous offer. And it's transformative. Possibly a touch of Scorpio energy in there, but we also have Sag and Leo. It's interesting. I feel so nosy with that. Why do I want to push that? I suppose you would know. Is that why you're showing me such an expansive time? You've been waiting a long time. soft but strong to participate in this the vanishing mirror ego sublimation doing away with the ego or what we told ourselves to protect ourselves yes smashing the mirror that's a good one that's a good one it's powerful too number 58 the vanishing mirror ego sublimation mm. Number 14, drifter, experiencing life as it comes, mm, moving in a different direction. Okay, transitional energy, six of swords. It's not really drifting if you're open to it. That means you're still going somewhere. We just haven't assumed to fill in the blanks yet, which is good. Which is very good. Slow and steady, yes, as you are want to do. Number 12, of course. Saw that over here. Very good. Number 47, the sacred pool. <laughs> Unexpected visitors. The sacred pool. Okay, I always like this one. This is it's, uh, this is my sacred space, my meditation place. Some of you are particularly fond of bodies of water. It makes it feel sacred to you. It's just your space. This is where you heal. This is where you reflect. This is where you have time and space to yourself. Some of you are naturally attracted to bodies of water. Or you find yourself an occasion of being around one or in one regularly. Get in touch with that space if you haven't. Number 47. 41, unexpected visitors. It's very interesting. Unexpected visitors. Well, that could be true for anybody anywhere, honey. Sorry, so generic. Honestly, don't know. Unexpected visitors, though. Persons of concern. It could also be an indication of fall. Someone peeking through the door.
Are you curious about someone? Is someone curious about you? Red is popping in this one. Okay. Mm-hmm. We have the letters P, H, J. We have the bat in reverse. Mm. Not connecting well at all. The sonar's off, the radar's off. Um, we're not connecting to whatever this is spiritually. And then for some of you, bets might simply be a confirmation. But uh, yeah, this is not our frequency. We have the medallion of Sag or Sagittarius, and it's up in the face, right? Some of you might have some very strong Sag. Uh, our Sagittarius energy could be in play in here somewhere today. We have the anchor. Funny thing about the anchor, it can represent emotional stability, and we want to stay here. Thank you very much. Or it can represent a state of stuckness. I see something for you growing that's positive emotion. Perhaps you want to anchor to it in time. And for others of you, this represents the stuck state, and we wish to get unstuck from it. Something here will not heal. In the heart, and there's this cap in reverse, it will not heal. Um... But if you identify with this one, you already know that. Yeah, J, H, and P. Okay, Virgo, honey. Hold on. Your card. Yes. <clears throat> Tower came up again. Surprise, surprise. And acknowledging this decision you've made back here. Okay. It's, it's recognizing how unhappy we've been, and it's your chance to heal from it. Okay. This is your opportunity to heal from this. By acknowledging it, putting it out in there to the world and you will heal through this. You will heal through that tower, I promise. It doesn't seem to respond well, but you know that. If this wanted to consolidate with you and figure it out, you would know. I see other parts of you heading off in the direction of, of strength and healing in another direction. I didn't get too much from it. And the fact that you feel like you've been waiting for it a long time. And it represents a state of feeling good about you that you haven't felt in a while. But this core issue here, as difficult as that tower was, it meant your growth and healing. Okay. I hope this helped you. Put it in the comments. Take care. Be well.